What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Fresh and fit are trendsetters in one thing and one thing only. That is bringing uh, very sensuous and sexy ladies onto a podcast who can easily be dominated by arguments. And that is exactly what Fresh and Fit does, okay? And they have done it to the level of, I mean, millions and millions of followers, millions and millions of dollars, albeit demonetized, but they have done it. And many people have tried to emulate them. Many podcasts, I won't name any of them, but they've all have failed. Black guys have tried to do it. They even had one guy who was working with them. He quit and started his own podcast like Fresh and Fit, it failed. You know, either the guys are just um, too rude or too soft. They haven't done it. But there is one particular crew that has done it. And that is called the Whatever Podcast. Now the Whatever Podcast, I believe these guys are out of Los Angeles area. Um, white guys, they started off as a um, sort of a prank channel here, but they have moved into the podcast element. And my friends, they are killing it, killing it in a major way. So much so that it has pissed off Fresh and Fit. And now what they do, they do both things. They still do their pranks, but they have put in the podcast and that has really got them a lot of numbers. But I will go ahead and let Duke the Don explain the real issues here and then we're gonna come back. And the first person that ever, or the first group that came up with this was fresh and fit all right now again we don't know the origin story 100 okay whether it's donny boy or uh solo tv 84 that are fighting for the claim to uh, uh who, who put fresh and fit on right which i don't think is something you want to brag about because i mean look at these bozos but again it doesn't matter since they their inception and their successful formula a lot of people have been replicating that same process we've seen a bunch of discount walgreens versions of uh, uh the fresh and fit uh, podcast right where it, they, they try to do the formula all right and some of it, it kind of works and some of it it just doesn't work okay on, on one end you got the guys you know being too soft on the girls and the incels don't like that or on the other hand you got the, the guys being too hard on the girls, maybe just being overly critical. It doesn't matter. The, the point is you tick two or three boxes, okay? You tick the female box because a lot of the incels, because they see a nice woman that they despise because they can never have her, all right? They, they, they get attracted to that. So you got the draw. And then you have the conversations, meaning the red pill talking points, which then when you draw these incels in, they get inundated with that talking points that, you know, a lot of these other platforms have been facilitating thus far, okay? So then these incels buy into your program. But you have to have that perfect mixture, okay? All right, Fresh and Fit, we're the only ones to do that and for a while you saw a little bit of these other podcasts coming up and trying all right uh, uh shout out to playbacks they did a reaction video to one of the other guys that tried to copy the formula a formula freaking formula dude freaking whatever <laughs> but they got to copy the formula i can't say that right <laughs> For some reason, right? But they didn't really quite get it right because these guys they were basically just yelling at the females and being overly rude, right? But but there was a podcast that managed to replicate it and not only replicate the formula, they were actually successful with it, right? So who was this podcast? It was whatever, whatever podcast that those guys, yeah, the previous prank channel that saw the profits to be made in the red pill space and decided to grip their way in. All of a sudden they went from pranking people to, you know, go ahead and uh, yelling at hosts. That's basically the graduation for it. And they did it so well with a combination of YouTube shorts to get the name and podcast out there to let the incels know. Ah, uh, yeah, they're 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 new uh they're new bozos in town. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us, right? That's essentially what it is, and they took the f off, all right. And, and, and it has been they've been going now. Listen, when they came out, I was the first one to criticize this. Okay, I wasn't the first one. All right, shout out to Chat GPT because y'all pointed this out to me. But after I saw this, I had to cover it because I'm like, yo, uh, did we know that there was a discount fresh and fit 
and they're just a bunch of white guys and they're actually good. <laughs> they're, 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 they actually figured out the formula. I didn't think this was a day that would come, but they did it. And one of the main things I did, you guys go to that video, we talked about is what would be Fresh and Fit's reaction, right? So guys, you, you've heard that, okay? And let me, let me just tell you this, you know, Fresh and Fit, especially Myron, he's hating on these guys. He's upset with these guys because these guys are very successful. They have at least going on a billion views now, 4.22 million subscribers. Um, and again, they're doing very well, right? And they have the same similar style of a podcast, but there's one difference. Here's where they compete with Fresh and Fit. They're white. You see, they're white. They are white guys and they have all white women. And so when you don't want to watch Fresh and Fit, who want to hate on black people, just go and watch all white guys. And that's the difference between fresh and fit because they've pretty much taken all of their stuff and made it an all white cast for the most part. Put it in California, all Caucasians where they can relate. And now fresh and fit are getting upset because Myron is saying these guys are copying him. But bro, you're not black, okay? Do you understand that somebody like these guys can take what you done as a African descent guy and, and do it better than you in certain aspects because they're the right color. They're white people. He have any problem with some of the other guys on this podcast tried the same thing. There have been several guys who have tried to do the same thing as fresh and fit that these guys know and have failed. They didn't hate. They even had some of those guys back on their show again, but oh, when white Zaddy comes out. You see, now you're mad at them. You you, you didn't think you were gonna get your nigga call, bro? Got it, you got it. Myron, fresh, you guys are never gonna be white people. Much as you may really want that for yourself, never. You'll never achieve that. You'll never have that. You'll never get it, right? You guys are black. And as successful as you are, those guys who are white are always gonna have a bigger catch ability to steal your idea and go further with it and it ain't the blacks that did it you got so much smoke for the blacks the blacks didn't copy your podcast bro and try to do it over again whatever podcast did it and they had some success now you're over here hating now you're over here mad well we know that you definitely um you know stole kevin samuel's night slide and did some egregious dirty things you know, you went around talking about behind people's back, calling people, calling people F words and slander, all, all of which you and I know both you've done it. But now these guys come out there and do it and you're, you're upset. All you did was grift toward the top. You guys use Kevin Samuels to build your audience. Now these guys do it to you. Now they're copycats, they're thieves. Well, ho well hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. When Kevin Samuels passed, he did an RIP show. I, I made sure. I called the family. Hey, did Fresh and Fit give any money to the funeral? Nope, zero. As you talked about that man behind his back, now you're mad at these guys are out here doing a thing. Get your nigga up call, buddy. Get it. And, 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 and let me just tell you this, you know, whenever these guys are, let me just say this. A lot of guys get, get in their, in their feelings when something can be easy, when somebody can replicate what you do, you know? Like just pearly things try to do the same thing. Just Pearly Things tried to do what Fresh and Fit did, and she was somewhat successful because they just didn't have the juice. Just Pearly Things isn't as talented, all right? So, but the whatever guys, they're trending on TikTok. They got popping shorts. They're in California. They're in LA, not in London. Nothing wrong with London, but hey, beautiful girls want to be on there. Hey, bro, step your stuff up, man. And guess what? We didn't hear any of this stuff until Fresh and Fit got demonetized. See, the other issue is too, the whatever podcast guys are still monetized while fresh and fit created a business model for somebody else who were, who's not dumb enough to lose their monetization. And now what they're doing guys. So here's what fresh and fit are trying to do. They, they don't YouTube strike you, but if you use their content, they try to basically how they're monetizing now is if you, they'll copyright claim your content. So if you use or react to their stuff, they'll just try to copyright claim it in order for you to get some money off of it. Won't work, bro. Whenever I do a video about you guys, I'll just talk about you guys in the third person like this. 
so I can make money off of your name and never give you anything. I know that you're mad, but it is not my fault. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Turn the bell. We're out.